Commodity Classic 2019 starting off on a really high note with quite the release of some uh, new products from BASF. And joining us, Paula Halibicki from BASF. More we're talking about the technical side of this announcement. So, Paula, if you could give us a rundown of, of what was announced here today. And then also, you know, how does that affect farmers from more of a technical side? Absolutely. So excited to be able to um, have this big announcement today. So announcing our brand new active ingredient, uh, Revisol fungicide, which is an active ingredient in the DMI or Group 3 fungicide class. And that's going to be found in two new premix fungicides, both Veltima fungicide in corn and Revitec fungicide for soybean. Really fantastic opportunity to you know, change the game in terms of disease control and plant health benefits in both corn and soybean crops, but also in you know, 17 plus crops across the entire market. So our initial labels will have over 17 crops and all of the diseases that matter most in those crops as well. So in layman terms, how is it going out there in the field and how is it affecting things, you know, especially things that are hitting Ohio farmers like gray leaf spot and otherwise? Why is this different uh, from the market and what's out there right now? So I would say that most DMI fungicides that have been around in the marketplace have been here for a long time. The first was introduced 40 years ago. There's only one that's less than 25 years old. So a really great opportunity to provide a new innovation for our customers. In terms of how BASF did that, it was really by looking to try and provide something that had a strong efficacy, but also a really favorable regulatory profile so we can ensure that the product stays now and into the future for our customers. Um, we see fantastic activity with these both these products um, in corn and soybean as we focused on today and I had many examples where we see broader, stronger, longer activity with the DMI uh, Revisol versus any other DMI fungicide on the market. So it really is new and different from anything we've seen before. I'm Matt Reese from Ohio's Country Journal and I'm at Commodity Classic in Orlando talking with Scott Kay with BASF. Uh, Scott, first of all, could you give me a little background about uh, your work with BASF and, and how it maybe ties in a little bit with Ohio? Yeah, so, uh, so Matt, it's good to see you at the Commodity Classic. It's always a, a great event, and uh, looking forward to talking to farmers here. And, uh, it's, uh, you know, my connection to uh, Ohio is I was a district sales manager for about five years uh, in the mid-2000s and, uh, and got a chance to, to work with you guys. And uh, today you have a really exciting announcement about so, some new, uh, a new active ingredient uh, for fun fungicide for use in both corn and soybeans. Can you tell me a little bit about that and why is this such a big deal? Yeah, so uh, BSF I, I think is known widely across the U.S. and in Ohio in particular for having being a fungicide leader. And, uh, and Headline was probably our first entry into the marketplace where people really got to see what, what technology can do different on their farms. And, and while we have great brands today that I, the farmers are going to use successfully in 19 and Headline Amp and Preaxor on their soybeans, the, uh, the new technology we launched today that was classified uh, just to, uh, to have a little fun was uh, is Revisol technology and and for me it's really exciting because uh, I, I don't know how much you know about what it takes to bring a product to market but we've invested over 10 years in research and development into bringing that technology and the other thing and what we kept a sharp eye on is is this product for for today or is it for today and the future and it's really going to solve a lot of problems that the farmers have I also think it's it's like any other technology too um, maybe people who had tried fungicides in the past um, um, and haven't tried them in a while, I would really encourage people to, to come over and take a look at the Revisol technology because it has been improved so much more than what they may have originally tried. Yeah, this is the first new active ingredient for a fungicide in a while, right? Yeah, in, in quite a while. And, uh, and so the, the summer of 2019, so this summer, Farmers are going to have a chance to see it. Whether they get a chance, whether we get registration in time enough for them to see it on their farm, I don't know. We hope so, but uh, if it doesn't, then we do plan to have farmers have a chance to see it uh, in the field. And it's always nice to come and see, well, another Ohio face joining us, Walker Godfrey from the BASF uh, recent announcement here, talking about fungicides. And Walker, thank you so much for being here with us. First of all, farmer up by Upper Sandusky. Upper Sandusky, Ohio. Absolutely. Let's talk about fungicide use. You guys are 100% acres. Is that right? We are. And you know that it was a slow progression to get there. You know, we started off trialing different fields, soybeans and corn, you know, some years you'd do it, some years you wouldn't, it's kind of got that yo-yo effect. But over time, uh, you know, testing it, you, you know, we have the ability to trial these with good yield monitors now, and we would see results. 
So, you know, as of the last probably five years, we've been pretty much 100% corn and soybeans. Some benefits that you've seen there. Also, I'm sure some challenges as many acres as you guys are, are with getting that all on there. But obviously, you're seeing it pay off. You know, we are. And it's, you know, really it's part of a an intensive management system. I mean, it starts at soils, you know, getting your pH right, fertility, hybrid. And as you start to get all those things right, you know, what are the next stresses that come in the season? You know, whether it's disease stresses or weather stresses, and that's where fungicide comes in. If you can start that crop off well, and you can keep it growing, and then you can add the fungicides in to kind of take you through the finish and hopefully build yield all the way there. We've seen a, a lot of increased use of fungicides over the years, especially as, as their usability becomes just so much more efficient and, and just better overall. You know, what are you talking about farmers around the area, you know, say, hey, I'm not so sure about 100 percent. What would you say to them? You know, again, I think it's getting away from that whole yo-yo effect. Um, even if you're not 100 percent of your crop, at least every year trying it on an X amount of those acres and then, you know, year after year after year and just seeing if there is a benefit. Um, and I think you'll find over that five, ten year period, you're going to see most of the time, you're going to see a yield, an ROI. And at the panel you discussed here with today with BASF, you talked a little bit about, you know, some of those new products and maybe I guess what's on your wish list. So, so there are some new products coming out from BASF, but does that fit into your guys' wish list on what you're wanting to see on your farm when it comes to fungicide use? I mean, the nice thing about the new fungicides, they're talking about longer residuals, so you got a longer window. So maybe we can spray a little earlier to hopefully pick up some disease, uh, disease issues and then the plant health on the backside. So yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of trialing out some of these uh, new products.